Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bash. We're playing some Call of Duty Black Ops. Specifically, we're playing Headquarters on Hanoi. And I think this might be the very first Headquarters I've ever uploaded to my channel, which is really weird because I'm used to, you know, playing a lot of Headquarters. So I can't believe I haven't ever uploaded one for you guys before. But I'm uploading this one. I do get about five or six deaths, which is more than I'd usually upload. But this game was, was fun to play. I mean, at the start, I got some pretty dumb deaths and I was kind of pissed off. But um, by the end of it, I was having a lot of fun. I think it'll make for a good video. I think you guys will enjoy it. So you know what I'm saying? I'm sharing it with you guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Now, this match right here was actually a part of Benjro's Road to Commander series. He invited me and a couple of subs to play with him. So, this was one of the matches. I think this was one of the last matches here, actually. Now, I think he might be uploading this to his channel today. Might possibly be tomorrow. Might have already been put up this morning or something. If it's already up, there will be an annotation to the top right. If it's not up yet, there will be an annotation to the top right whenever it does get up. And um, if you're not watching Benjro's Road to Commander series or Onslaughts, you need to be watching both of those, especially if you're trying to step your game up. Those are two of the best and most consistent players I've ever played with. Two of the most well-rounded players I've ever played with or seen play. So um, I would recommend you check them out, uh, most definitely. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys watch this. I'm, using the, I'm actually using the dual mag. FAMAS. Now the FAMAS, I, I stopped using it for a while because a lot of you guys were on my back, um, especially during my you know my first level one to fifty. I used the FAMAS quite a bit, and you guys were all over me, man. You keep using that FAMAS, so I put it away. I stopped messing with it, but now this this prestige, I've I've kind of gotten back into the FAMAS swing of things, and uh, I'm enjoying it, man. This gun, I don't know why I would ever put this gun down. This is a great great gun. Dual mag though is definitely not one of my favorite attachments. It used to be. I had it on just about every gun. But I, I'm switching it up, man. I think the fast reload is cool, but I don't think it's as much of a necessity as extended mag. Now, um, you'll see quite a few, quite a few times where I run into two or more people, and um, the reload seems to work out for me here. But like a lot of the time, if if you run into more than two people, you're pretty much out of luck if you don't if you don't have extended mags. And uh, in this game, especially with no stopping power, it takes a lot more to take someone down. So, you know what I'm saying, like. Being able to take two people down is cool, but a lot of the time you'll run into three or four people, especially when you're defending a headquarters or especially when you're defending any type of objective. So I, I've decided to use extended mag, and I think I'm having uh, quite a bit. See, right here, I just got lucky. Oh, actually, I didn't get lucky. <laughs> I thought I killed him. But um, it took him a second to kill me, and if I had just let myself reload, I probably would have caught him, but I think I stood up or something. But situations like that are, are a prime example of why extended mag is worth it. Because the majority of the time, if you got to reload, even if you're reloading faster than usual, um, you're still going to get caught. You're still going to get caught and die. So, I mean, for the most part, when I'm reloading, it doesn't make a sec it doesn't make a difference if it's like one and a half seconds or if it's like, you know what I mean, 0.7 seconds. It's, I'm usually, you know, behind cover. I'm good to go. So, I'm cool. Um, so, you know, extended mag is kind of my recommendation to you guys if you're trying to decide between uh, extended or, uh, or the dual mag. But what I want to talk about is not necessarily the gameplay. I'll let you guys ooh kill feed baby. I'll let you guys <laughs> I'll let you guys enjoy it. Um, but I want to talk about a couple other things. One is my secondary channel. So my secondary channel where I'm gonna be posting. Uh, this is what I plan to do. I kind of was a little wishy washy with what I want to do with my secondary channel. I think I figured it out by now. Um, what I want to do is I'm gonna put some some let's plays on there. Hopefully I, I talked about doing let's plays on my own channel. I'm gonna move that over to my secondary channel because you know. This channel right here was built around the commentaries, uh, around the Call of Duty gameplay, and I think that that's really what you guys enjoy and what you guys are here for. Um, you know what I mean? I, I want to keep this Call of Duty centric, Call of Duty focused, and, and just give you guys what you want to see. But at the same point in time, I want to be able to bring more content to people who are interested in seeing more content from me, so that's why I'm going to kind of move some of that stuff over to the second channel. So I am going to do a couple of um, Let's Plays and stuff, and I think I'm going to introduce the games that I'm going to play in like a vlog that I'll do over on that channel. So I am going to use that channel also for vlogging and like a couple of live skits and stuff like that. All the all the non-Call of Duty stuff I'm going to be doing over there. So it just got partnered. I'm still trying to get it all branded. I got to get a, a background and do all of that nitty gritty stuff. But um, once that stuff is all said and done, that is when I'll, uh, I'll definitely release it to you because I don't like releasing an unfinished product, so I don't want to send you guys over there. There are a couple of guys who are subscribed to me over there already. Um, I know Team Mart's over there posting in the comment section all the time, but <laughs> but um, when it's ready, you guys will definitely know about it. I'll definitely make sure you guys are well aware of um, exactly uh, what's going on. Uh, also, I wanted to know 
what you guys thought about Xbox Live Arcade games. Um, I, I know there are a lot of Xbox Live Arcade games out there that are cool, fun to play, and I'm looking for I'm looking for some that I can share with you guys, or you know what I mean, that I could do reviews on. I am planning on doing a little series. Look, uh, look at this, man. If, if another dude had jumped out at this point in time. Like, they're taking their time coming out one at a time. It's like, this is like a kung fu movie, man. They're attacking me one at a time. But if these dudes had been coming out one at a time, like, all at a time, I'd have been screwed with that dual mag, man. But but whatever. I'm okay. I'm okay, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you guys have any recommendations on arcade games or also indie games, because uh, for those of you who don't know, there are, there are these things called indie games that are available on Xbox Live uh, Marketplace. They're really cheap. Like, they're like, I'm talking like 100 Microsoft points, 50 Microsoft points. And some of them are actually pretty good. If you guys have any re recommendations, send them my way. Because I'm going to be doing a little series, not on my channel, on another channel, um, another series, kind of based around, look, all these dudes left the game. I'm going to be doing a little series um, based on arcade and indie games. So I'd definitely like to get the recommendations from you guys. I trust your, your opinion. I trust your judgment. So definitely let me know what you think. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll try to use you. I'll use your suggestions. I'll definitely give you guys credit. So, you know what I'm saying? Do that. But, um, yeah, so let's get back to this game right here. It's my second chopper gunner. Um, these dudes seem to have all left the game at this point. I think there's, yeah, there's nobody left. So, I made them rage quit. It's hard. This is hard to do. Like, I'm surprised I was able to do this because it's hard to do when you have somebody like Benjo in your, in your team. Dude's good. He always hogs the kills, hogs the kill feed. But um, I was able to slip one, slip one from under him in his own, in his own live session, or his own road to commander. And look at that, look at that. That's what that's what Black Ops does right there. They're starting to put people in. They're gonna put more people into this match right now. The game is done. Why does it do that? Do you guys notice that? It always does that. Put people in the game while the game's going on, please. Jeez. But uh, <laughs> anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later. Peace out.